kissing in the night. Dreams of love as fall begins. Chilled hearts are now warm. Yeah, man. Why not go with the seasons? Fall in love. As the ship passes in the night, we say hello. Are you from a life past or are you from this life? Or did you drop in from the future? Who knows? All I can say is, take it while it's there. Let love in. Let love in. The message from the Oracle, strong today. As we enter into fall, back where the leaves are changing color, it's beautiful. Back on Jenny's farm. It's nice, 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 nice. This week, the week of October 7th, 2019, is number 22. Be adorning and refining above is Jen, bound and quiet mountain. Below, radiance and bright fire. Couldn't have a better message. The wisdom this week is behold, a stunning moment of time is here. Live to your highest standards. Refine the outer aspects of your life. Thus, you will be blessed. In life comes moments of clarity. This vision is only offered, not commanded. It's your choice. You can live in this state of grace or continue in normality. No blame. Whatever your decision. Fear. That could be an obstacle. When a time like this is presented... You will make great advancement and find your truth if you discharge fear and deconstruct your doubts and take advantage of this time. It's a time to look at all the outer aspects of your life and not change them as much as polish them up, you know? The way you are, it's not about adorning yourself with bling, but it's about adorning yourself with this depth of knowing. Not the time to move forward. Not the time to accelerate your affairs. Not yet. Find your depth of stillness now as you quietly let your influence be felt. Not heard, not seen, but felt. You've not come to this moment of grace to put form to your future or to enhance the value of your efforts. Fear will make you invisible and you will remain in the place you've created for yourself. The choice now is to choose to be seen, seen as you walk with dignity and grace. These are the components of the fuel that will feed you, feed the power to receive change, to receive love and abundance. By refining and honing your outer form and social presentation, success and peace of mind will be yours. I told you, it's a good message. It's about a state of grace. And that's the time of seeing and activating, embracing the highest good for yourself for sure. But along with it, as a companion, your community and your tribe, and it's a high mark. It's kind of hard to achieve and maintain. So not the time to make great or big decisions. Don't make commitments now from this perspective. Simply see with this momentarily enhanced view and let things take their own form, fall their own way, and then polish them up. Set small goals as you look to the details of your place on earth. You have nothing to do now other than to refine your original beauty and be the quiet witness and the compassionate observer. Observe and honor the stillness you see in nature Make these your symbols of change. Shouting from the mountain, that doesn't bring change. In humility, you will receive. Stillness can be considered a small thing, yet in its small, smallness it is great. As we tread on this road less traveled, the path of the seeker, consider the importance of proper behavior, good manners, 
good manners, ones that consider your fellows on earth and your earth herself. Set the tone for how the world as a whole will be, how you want it to be, and how you're going to be in it. In this place of grace, what is yours will come to you, and there'll be peace, and there'll be harmony on earth. See it, live it. We are in an era of great change, and our, survi for our survival, survival our, our literal survival, is dependent on changing a way of thinking and of seeing from negative to positive. You can be the antidote to greed and violence by acting in your life with impeccable, man impeccable manners and live with compassion in the way that you treat others and how you behave in relation to your brothers and sisters of Earth's peoples and always to Gaia, the mother of your Earth. It is correct behavior that creates harmony in the world and this harmony that in these coming days, all can live in peace with truth of love and abundance. It's that simple, really. The greatest advancement comes from the most elementary and simple things that are always available as you hone to the finest point, the fineness of all that is in your outer life. The benefit will come as you use these moments of clarity that are being offered now. Adjust your attitude and your behavior to, and correct your thinking. And don't take this time of momentary grace lightly. Change in the wind. It's here and change is required. Embrace the truth as never before. With all and everything else here, no boundaries. Imagine no boundaries of countries or states, species or gender. Imagine it. We can do it, see. We're at a delicate point. If we don't open, that we are all indeed one great tribe and to know we need one another and we feel one another always. We're destined to experience more war, more unemployment, more hunger, more crime, more greed, more poverty if we don't make our changes. All now have an opportunity to experience the clarity, to see through the truth of unity of all beings and in so doing, to act with grace, good manners, kindness, and compassion. Reflect this in relationships, in your family, in commerce, and in your tribe. In these coming days, take some moments of stillness. Look to simplifying what you already have. Polish your ways in the world and make your adornments simple. Any issues that come your way can be solved in simplicity. So we have a choice. By making these choices, your choice, choose love. That's what the I Ching says. And I say be love and teach peace. And we can. And we can. Just know that the possibilities of being inspired by others, being inspired by our thoughts, by looking deep, and by holding these truths deep, deep, deep in your heart. Please, on the text part of the I Ching, look down at the bottom. You'll see at Maha Rose in Brooklyn. We're having a, having a class uh, two weekends from now. It's going to be amazing, beautiful. Please come and please tell me that you listen to the I Ching. I'd love to talk to you. So be the love that you want and you'll bring it to you. I send you love, my sisters, my brothers. I send you love. I send you peace. All the goddesses out there, really respect yourself. Walk the walk of the goddess. And men, honor yourself first. Honor the goddess. You know, we need that now, we need that, and we need to be in that place, in that headspace where men, women, lovers, all get along. And it's about respect, respecting each other. You know, no, no gossip, no small talk, just truth talk. In La Kesha La I am the other you.
I do like it that way, man. Namaste, brothers. Namaste, sisters. Lakesh. Be love. Be the best person you can.